the music. Oh, uh, the music? Okay. Shit, man, I, got, I fell out of sports. When I say like a junior high, bro. I took a step on my granny patch, you know what I'm saying? She was like, she was like a mom to me, she passed away. And I did, it, it literally just threw me off, you know what I'm saying? I guess so, so. I fell from that, and then uh, I remember Maury and them, bro, they had ATM shit, you know what I'm saying? They had uh, his mic right there behind the closet door, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The little computer hooked up, bro. There'd be five, six of us in that motherfucker. I couldn't rap for shit. Them boys were killing shit, bro. For real, even back then? Bro, I wish, the, I, wish I could find, you know what I I wish they had them motherfucking old songs. They might. I need to get with Maury and see what's up. Cause this shit back in the day, I'm talking like 14, 15, them boys were killing shit for real. Dang, even so at the that's young. where that's where I got influenced the most, you know what I'm saying? Really? As far as like, man, I could do this shit, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't shit. I remember I wrote one rhyme, or uh, one little, you know what I'm saying, a verse. Yeah, back in the days and uh, it wasn't shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't even record that bitch, but I remember it, you know what I'm saying? I remember fucking doing that shit. And, and I honestly, bro, I can't even. I think when I moved to Stockton, no fool, like I freestyling and bullshit with my homies and being around here, and gave you the chance to and shit. When okay, we party, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> that's how. Uh, that's how I guess I got started. And then, oh, my nigga Joe Torch, I'll never forget. Shout out to I'm Joe Torch. Yeah, bro, Joe put me on the mic. I was 18. You know what I'm saying? I was out here throwed off. You know what I'm saying? Thugging and shit. He, I remember going and watching people record at his house, and. uh it, it sounded crazy to me because they would have like their headphones on and you can't hear them when you watch them you just you just hear them you know what yeah, I'm saying you do. Yeah, and me and my homeboy would be at the back like trying so hard not to fuck up their recording from laughing and shit you know what I'm yeah. saying you just hear them talking you're like for real it is you don't hear it you know what I'm saying then, so woo woo uh, one day fucking we were partying and shit and he left the mic on so I got in front of that bitch and was just talking shit being silly and uh, he was running back and forth in the house and he just walked by and kicked that button, click, to record, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay. You know yeah. Saying? From there, we, you know what I'm I bought my first beat from him and he put me on the mic, bro, and it, it just, I ain't stopped, I guess, you know what I'm saying? What made you, like, take it, you know, not take it serious, but like, damn, I really can do this, like or you really question. love it? I like that question, look. The last two years, I took it serious, bro. Everything beforehand, and at the, on the cool, bro, like, uh, everything is just natural, bro. Like, I ain't going out of my way for shit, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, aside from me, like, now, bro, like, I'm making a point. Like, I came down here, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I party last night. I ain't much slept. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But I ain't even finna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I got We you. gotta get this work in, fool. You know what I'm saying? I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful that you want to get me on here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, like I said, bro, it's just all natural, bro. Uh, the last couple years, though, like, I've been putting money towards studio time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been making it a point to do shit like this, you know what I'm saying? I'll make it a point to go to these shows, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I also try to make it a point, bro, to make a profit, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because I do deserve business. it, bro. Because, like, deserve. even when I sell a fucking verse, bro, like, really, I'm giving you a piece of me, my nigga. You, know you what really saying? is. Like, like, I'm giving you something. That's your shit, bro. And, and if, if, God forbid, you know what I'm saying, anything would have happened to me, you don't have that shit. And that's a piece of me for everything, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I, that's that's my get up when I sell verse, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes like I, I feel grateful when people hit me up for for a feature, you know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, and, and I don't like want to charge them and shit, you know what I'm saying? Be yeah, I feel nice you. Nice guy, you know what I'm saying? I feel like and that too sometimes. I look sometimes. out when I can, you know what I'm saying? But. I like to be invested in, you know what I'm saying? Because I am invested in my shit. And at that, when I do charge, I'm only charging 100 fucking bucks, you know what I'm saying? So really, 50 of it's going to me and 50 is going to my damn engineer stock. What? Stockton, that's you know what I'm saying? A, man, that's a steal for real, man. Hey, I, I, yeah, because you know what? I see boys selling shit for like 250 and I ain't never going to knock that, bro, because they got that supply and demand mentality. Most of the boys I know doing that, and it works, for, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like 100 is good, you know what I'm saying? Take care the of the Yeah, it's yeah. gonna get there, I swear, bro. Right. That's my it dog. Is. Hey, Glock always show me so much love, fool. And we real brothers, man. We done had our ups and downs, nigga, like, I swear. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, man, for it's my family. That, that, that's a, Just like my little bro right here, bro. It's crazy, bro, how real this shit is, bro. Ain't nothing fake about nothing, bro. And I love that shit, bro. I'm glad you're speaking on that because I, I got swear, a good bro. question for you. How, I want you to tell. Everybody, other artists, everybody, how important it is to have a team. <laughs> oh, man, look out. But that's something you can't buy, you know what I'm saying? No, you can't buy it. Like, you, you can't buy it. You're like me, for, and you got fucking good people with you, bro, and you grew up in, in, with people showing you enough love. Because like I said, I wasn't no big shot in junior high, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't in there rapping and fighting and shit. I got bro. you. I was avoiding fights, and, and you know, I was chilling and shit. I mean, I, I would do my thing, you know what I'm saying? I never was too much of no bitch, you know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? I got lucky, bro, and I'm blessed. Now, fuck, look, we got blessed, bro, and we fucking with real people. But yeah, man, that shit helps. You know, but it's crazy, though, because when you're doing these shows, if you got people that going with you to these shows, bro, that's a blessing, because I have a hard time getting my boys out. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's been there supporting me more than none, you know what I'm saying? But I understand, you know what I'm saying? People can't move around at, yeah, your, everybody. at, your, at your leisure, you know what I'm saying? But man, hey, it's a good look to all my homeboys. Y'all gonna see this fucking interview. Everybody I do music with that I keep telling y'all motherfuckers to go to shows. He's all right here. Look. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all fucking come, bro, nigga. Network. Your support bro. is needed, man. Hey, shit, I can scream y'all's name all, all I can, fool. But at the end of the day, bro, we need a face behind this shit. So y'all come fuck with me when I do these shows. I'm trying to have an entourage looking like a million too. You feel me? Uh huh. But yeah, I mean that shit does help, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as like uh. Having like a group, <clears throat> Highway Game, my boy Highway Yellow. Man, I've been down here since Playerland, you know what I'm saying? I watched that boy grind his way to where he's at, you know what I'm saying? And what's Playerland like? Playerland was, was, is an LLC and everything, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. Highway Game. Uh, that was his little, his little label, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? His little business and shit, Playerland Entertainment. So that's where I got down with him at, and uh, he uh, got signed with Swisher House, and he recreated a couple things oh. about what he's got going, and he put a, uh, Highway game behind it, man. That bitch is, it comes what? from some real shit too. And uh, it sounds good, you know what I'm saying? So, so you yeah. mean to tell me you knew Highway Gang before he's even signed with Squishy? Yeah, hell yeah. Wait a I've minute. I've been fucking with Yellow for, yeah. I think we just hit almost 10 years fucking with Ain't no way. Hold on, because we're, we're going to sit down again where we can I'm get Yellow somehow. No, but, <laughs> nah, but it's Ten just like. Ago, goddamn thing about it, goddamn. it just seemed like it's a <laughs> storm that came so. You know, How did the connection with Yellow start? Uh, like, did he come down here? You, you know, were up there with, nah, you know? Nah, he was down here working in Midland. And there's some silly ass nigga that I used to know that he fucking, he linked me up with. Yeah, I kind of got connected that yeah. way. Oh, okay, because I know he's from kind of out of town where I don't know, you know, so. And ever since then, y'all just been locked in? Uh, man, that dude has, has seen, seen me do, been through a lot of shit. He seen me up, you know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucker. That's when he met me when I was doing Yeah, I mean, 10 years, that's a long good. time, man. When he met me, boy, I was twisting up something, you know what I'm saying, on some swings. Had a goddamn jag with the gator roof, you know what I'm saying? Had the bins on him. Had my little barbershop going, you know what I'm saying? Was doing my thing when I ran yeah. into my boy. But then he's also lived with me here recently, bro, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've had some hard times in the last five or so years, you know what I'm saying? So he, he's he been a loyal motherfucker. So y'all just stayed down with each other and then, uh... Yeah. Hell yeah. Because that don't happen too, too often. Even like people Especially, stay together that long. Yeah. Then he get a little, he gets some success and still bring you along with him. Yup. Yup. Yep. How did that go? How did that conversation go in? Like, I want you a part honestly, of a. Uh -huh. Honestly, bro, uh, he uh, ain't no conversation to it. It wasn't? It's kind of just, uh, <laughs> like I said, organic, really. I got shit, you. There ain't too much you got to talk about. Like, if it's whatever I got going, you yeah, going to be. Yeah, because he, he the type of dude, like, if I. Boy, if I if I ask this dude how how long the set is two weeks before a show, all I get is a reply, man, you worried about the wrong shit. <laughs> okay, just tell me how long my set is. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. a man of action. You know what I'm saying? My nigga's like he he likes moves. You know what I'm saying? He ain't too much for the combo. You know what I'm saying? What's one? When we link up though. We, we turn up. You know what I'm saying? We, I bet y'all do. You know what I'm saying? We, we, Cause y'all got a lot of work together, it. man. Yeah, y'all got a lot of work. And that, it's crazy, bro. That that that's what. I'm humble, bro, because, like, I do my thing, bro, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I'm really a fan of this shit before anything, bro. Mm -hmm. So, like, I ain't to put myself down, but I hold I hold people on their pedestals, bro, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that helps me at the same time, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm humbled and grateful, bro, that homeboys put me down like that, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And, and he, I, mean, I guess I go hard enough, you know what I'm saying? You interviewing me, bro, that means a lot, too. You know yeah, yeah. So, for sure. That, that reminds me, bro, you know, because I ain't gonna lie, bro, almost every other week, nigga, I'm thinking, like, man, fuck all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but if it was, as far as, like, pushing me and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'll ever stop doing music, bro, because that shit's therapy and a bitch could say the sound. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you this.